see, I'm not a big Jordan shoe wearer like that. I don't know. I've always wanted to do something different and wear something different and always be different. So like when people was like always, oh, I gotta get the new Jordans. I was always like, didn't those just come out? Now I would wear them, but I don't think I would personally go crazy to go buy them and stand in line. Bullshit you not, my first pair of Jordans I ever had, I got them out the trash. My little brother owned a pair of Jordans. I forgot which ones they were. They were red and black. So, you know, in my color. Anyway, he didn't like them. He actually was like trying to fix them because somebody scuffed them and I thought they was in good condition and he collects shoes so it was like when they got messed up this nigga just threw them in the trash because he tried to like doctor on them and fix them and he ended up making them worse but to me i thought they was just like scuffed up but they wasn't worth throwing them away so your boy was wearing them yep i went in the garbage and i was wearing them jordans what's weird is that i remember when i was younger when everybody was buying jordans you know what shoes i got i ended up buying dennis robbins because they had like this weird ass zipper on them or something like that and i was like yo these are dope they're different. I need to get these. And I think I had some Ken Griffey Juniors and I had some Grant Hills. But I never really wanted Jordans like that. I, I don't know. Maybe it's my ignorance, but I get a little bit confused because when niggas be like, yo, I'm going to go cop the new Jordans. And then that, like, I see a picture of the ones they're talking about. I'm like, yo, didn't them just come out? And the weird thing is, like, when people, especially the ones when people be like, yo, I'm going to get these Jordans right here. And I'm like, bro, I got those. I got those out the garbage. So I'm like, how are these the new Jordans? Like, didn't these come out already? And you know what the weird thing is niggas will catch a whole attitude and they'll be like no these are the new new jordans and you'll be like all right and then they'll be like the only thing that's different is like the color like it's like a little bit of a color variation like the part where you put a shoestring in it's different oh the tongue is different it's a different color it's a different stitching so those make them the new new jordans i don't know but then that's when they'll look at me and they'll look at me and be like they'll think really hard like I don't think we could be friends. They don't really know and appreciate who Michael Jordan really is, especially like younger people. I went to career day. Um, it was like fifth and sixth graders. And, and I went there to talk about music and I was there to play like some beats and stuff like that. And you know, some cool shit, cool rapper shit. And you know, it's like, it's always that one badass kid that ain't there to learn. He's just there to like play, show off and talk shit. And uh, I instantly identified this kid. And the weird thing was like, this kid had like the nicest pair of Jordans on. Like you could tell like they were new, new because people were complimenting him, but he was bad as shit. And I remember he was talking about this little girl because she had on some sketches and me, me, myself personally, I'm not into bullying. I don't support it. So I kind of chimed in and I'm like, yo, maybe she like it. Maybe because she really wants to be different. She don't want to, you know, that's why she bought them. She wants to stand out. She likes them. That's all that matters. And then I was like, my question to you is like, do you even know why you're wearing Jordans? Why do you, why are you wearing Jordans? His first answer, they cost a lot of money. I said, that's it. And then I got to thinking, I'm like, and I asked him, I said, do you even know who Michael Jordan is? I bullshit you not. Oh yeah. He's a shoe designer, duh. And I remember this class full of fifth graders just erupted. They like, oh, hell no. No, he's a basketball player. Like all of them talking at once. And like, he, he looking like salty, like, man, stop talking to me. And then somebody said, no, that's the actor from Space Jam. And then like the one little girl with the sketches on, she was like, uh, no, he's a basketball player. He's retired, he played for the Chicago Bulls. He also played for the Wizards at one point. So she knew her history. And it's sad to say, I guarantee a lot of younger kids think that Michael Jordan is a shoe designer. But hey, I mean, that's the problem with the young generation, right? We never really know the history of something like we supposed to. But as long as it's working for us now, that's all that matters, right? But I mean, I'm not here to preach. I'm just here to speak. You feel me? So whether you're wearing $10 shoes, $50 shoes, $250 shoes, it doesn't make you better than anybody. It's all about who you are, who you are on the inside, and how you're helping people and being the dopest person you can be. Whether you're wearing Jordans or Skechers. But hold on, wait, I ain't gonna lie though. Them sketches is ugly than a mother. Them sketches, sketches are ugly as shit though. So I guess it always balances out because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, I'll make dope ass music.